Section. Introduction. Let's start by discussing the basics of language models. Usually, these models are built on a foundation of tokenization, which can be based on words, subwords, or characters. Among these, subword tokenization has been the most widely used because it strikes a balance between training efficiency and the ability to handle words that are not in the vocabulary. However, there are some issues with subword tokenizers, such as their inability to handle typos, spelling and capitalization variations, and changes in word forms. Some researchers have taken a different approach by using byte sequences, which means they map raw data to predictions without any intermediate tokenization. This approach allows byte-level language models to adapt more easily to different spellings and word forms. However, this method results in sequences that are much longer than those produced by subword models, which can lead to efficiency issues in the model architecture. This is especially true for autoregressive transformers, which are commonly used in language modeling but struggle with long sequences due to the high computational cost of attention. To address this, some researchers have developed methods to compress the internal transformer representation to handle long sequences. One such method is the megabyte transformer, which uses compression in the form of fixed size patches of bytes as a subword equivalent, reducing computational costs. In this paper, we introduce Mamba Byte, a simple and efficient byte level language model. This model is a modification of the recently introduced Mamba architecture, a linear time approach for sequence modeling. Mamba improves upon the approach used by state space models, SSMs, by introducing a selection mechanism that is more effective for discrete data such as text. Our key observation is that using Mamba can alleviate the main computational bottleneck in language modeling allowing for the elimination of patching and effective use of the available compute budget. We compared Mamba Byte to transformers, SSMs, and megabyte architectures on several long-form text datasets. Our findings show that compared to byte-level transformers, Mamba Byte performs better and is significantly more compute efficient. We also found that Mamba Byte is competitive with various subword baselines despite handling significantly longer sequences. These results suggest that Mamba Byte is a strong alternative to existing tokenizer-dependent models and supports its use for end-to-end -end learning. Now, let's delve into the technical details. SSMs model the evolution of a hidden state over time using a first-order differential equation. These models have shown promising results in deep learning across several modalities. However, they lack input-dependent context selection in the hidden state, which may be necessary for tasks such as language modeling. To address this, Mamba was proposed, which defines the time-varying continuous state dynamics for a given input, hidden state, and output at a specific time. To model discrete time sequences such as bytes, the continuous time dynamics must be approximated through discretization. This results in a discrete time hidden state recurrence with new matrices at each time step. This resembles a linear version of a recurrent neural network and can be applied in this recurrent form during language model generation. In Mamba, the SSM terms are input selective, meaning they are defined as functions of the input. The SSM parameters are identical for each input dimension, but the time steps are distinct, resulting in a hidden state size of n times d per time step. Mamba incorporates this SSM layer into a full neural network language model using a stack of gated layers inspired by the previous gated SSM. Section Summary In this section, the authors introduce Mamba Byte, an efficient byte-level language model that eliminates the need for patching and achieves better performance and computational efficiency compared to byte-level transformers. They also compare Mamba Byte to subword models and find it to be competitive despite handling longer sequences. Mamba Byte is a straightforward adaptation of the Mamba architecture, which utilizes a linear time approach for sequence modeling by incorporating a selection mechanism that is more effective for discrete data like text. Section. Parallel scans for linear recurrences. We'll start by discussing how we use parallel scans for linear recurrences. When we're training our model, we have access to the entire sequence, denoted as X. 
This allows us to calculate the linear recurrence more efficiently. We use a method known as work-efficient parallel scans, which is a way to compute the sequential recurrence in linear state space models, SSMs, more efficiently. For our model, MAMBA, we first convert the recurrence into a sequence of L tuples, where each tuple is represented as E underscore K equals A underscore K, B underscore K. Here, A underscore K and B underscore K are elements of the sequence. We then define an associative operator, which we'll call bullet, such that E underscore J bullet E underscore K equals A underscore K underscore J. A underscore K B underscore J plus B underscore K. Next, we apply a parallel scan to compute the sequence. In general, this process takes time proportional to T underscore bullet times the logarithm base 2 of L, and it uses L2 processors. Here, T underscore bullet is the cost of multiplying two matrices together. We note that A is a diagonal matrix which means that the linear recurrence can be computed in parallel. This computation takes time proportional to n times the logarithm base 2 of L, and it requires space proportional to nL. A parallel scan with a diagonal matrix is also efficient, requiring a number of floating point operations, flops, proportional to nL. Now, let's move on to our experimental setup. We compare our Mamba byte model to other byte level transformers and SSMs. All our models use the same training methods. We test our models on a variety of long form text datasets, including PG19, stories, books, archive, and code. We take care when comparing performance across different architectures. We consider two settings compute matched and parameter matched. This is necessary because the default megabyte transformer uses a global module that works with representations of the input that are eight times smaller, thus using eight times fewer flops per byte than a raw transformer, while having significantly more parameters. We train all Mamba byte models using the open source Mamba code base. During training, we shuffle the documents and use sequences of 8192 bytes, starting from a random position. We use mixed precision training with BF16 for efficiency. We also use a sliding window to trade off speed for performance during inference. When comparing with state-of-the-art subword models, we use a sliding window with a stride of half the byte sequence length. Our results show that Mamba byte consistently outperforms megabyte across all datasets. We also found that Mamba Byte performs better than a much larger model in fewer training steps. When we look at models with the same number of parameters, we find that models with less input patching perform better, but when compute normalized, they perform similarly. However, switching to the Mamba architecture significantly improves both the compute usage and the model performance. For example, we found that Mamba Byte, even when trained for fewer bytes, outperforms all the byte level models and achieves competitive performance with subword models. Section Summary The authors propose the use of work-efficient parallel scans to efficiently compute linear recurrences in linear SSMs. By mapping the recurrence to a sequence of tuples and applying a parallel scan, the linear recurrence can be computed in O, N log 2, L, time and O, N L, space. Experimental results show that Mamba Byte outperforms Megabyte consistently across various datasets, achieving competitive performance with subword models. Section Text Generation In the realm of text generation, transformer models that use autoregressive inference have a significant drawback. They need to store the entire context, which can drastically slow down the generation process. However, our model, Mamba Byte, doesn't have this issue. It keeps a single evolving hidden state for each layer, which allows for a constant generation time at each step. To illustrate this, let's compare the text generation speeds of two versions of Mamba Byte, one with 972 million parameters and the other with 1.6 billion parameters, with a version of Megabyte that has a total of 1.65 billion parameters, 1.3 billion plus 350 million. 
We used an A180GB PCIe GPU for this comparison. Megabyte does manage to cut down the generation cost significantly by using a technique called patching. However, we found that Mamba Byte is still 2.6 times faster when the number of parameters is the same. This speed advantage comes from Mamba Byte's use of a method called recurrent generation. For more details about how the generation process works, please refer to the appendix.